find. Let me free. What if... What if I'm dangerous? What if I hurt somebody? What if... I hurt you? They fed me... Horrible things. Meat. From... From people. I didn't want to eat it. But they do something to it that makes it... Irresistible. Even... You, the one who saved me, I can picture sinking my teeth into you, ripping the flesh apart, swallowing it down. I'm... I'm scared. I'm not myself anymore. I... I have these cravings. I can't be trusted. A low growl. The dog starts to salivate and lick his chops. His eyes go hard and cold. Suddenly, he seems to remember himself and whines. This is... this is awful. I can't go back into the world like this. Please, just put me down. All right, I'll do it. I won't be killing any innocents today. It's for the best. If he's dangerous, it's better to take care of him now. No, no, no! Starts again. <laughs> no one will want me now.
Good find. Did you expect a needle?
kill. Catch buddies. Buddy? Buddies? Buddies? Buddy? I've spotted something. like this place has been sealed up for a century or two. There could be a good reason why no one dared to enter in the meantime. Here lies Withermore the Noxious. Here lies Withermore the Supplicant. You sense a great whirl of energy within the jar. From its depths, a faint voice howls. This must be the container that holds Lord Withermore's soul. Withermore held his end of the bargain. We should hold ours. Withermore's been trapped so long, he'll hardly notice a little while longer. The jar smashes to smithereens on the floor.
So, this is your place, Bracus. Keeping watch over your bounty, I take it. The giant takes notice of its charges. Dear me, it has questions, Quirkus. Hmm? Why, yes, I suppose answering them is the polite thing to do. Speak! Shield! What are your queries? A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quirkus? Surely, even the tall folk know that Rivalon was bare before the great Acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful, perfect forests. Beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. They carved the Irwood up, and the forests shrank and shrank. None of the original wood remains. But someday, the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn, and the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Oh, Quirkus, it wants answers. As if it is the first creature to ponder the big questions of the universe. What tree did the great acorn fall from? Where did that tree come from, if not a greater acorn? Could you build a nest great enough to store the great acorn for the winter? Some questions have no answers. Quirkus, why is that so difficult to understand? The great acorn will come. It will destroy the world, and squirrels will reign supreme forever. I fail to see what's so difficult to grasp. What do you say, Quirkus? We once believed it was good, but now... No, quite right. As terrible as the giants have been to us, we do not want to see them wiped out. Rather, we must find a way to live together in peace, giant and squirrel. Although it would be quite a bit easier to get along if the giants would stop turning our home forests into spears and ships and things, wouldn't it, Quirkus? Perhaps the shield will let them know as much. Indeed, Quirkus. Let's be off.
Magisters certainly don't spare expenses, do they?
Now is not the time for a bath. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease-blackened hand. What do you need? By all means, get an eyeful.
Leave me. <coughs> Go. She smiles and reaches out as if to touch your arm, but pulls back at the last moment. Sorry. I almost forget sometimes. I can't... <coughs> can't wait to see... to see what's next. To be done with this. me. <coughs> Go! Tell me, are you alone? You won't regret it. Not when you hear what I've got to say. We need to be quick, though. You never know when the Magisters are going to haul you off. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it. And I don't want to wait and find out. Yet so quickly, we find Source so dangerous. What in his death caused it? So Void Woken are attracted to Source. But why? When another divine arises, 
I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Had a gal, who wouldn't? Finally, someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple, completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. Well, I certainly got lucky with you, didn't I? The way out's nice and secluded. It starts in a little hidden alcove on the beach. Give me your map. I'll show you where to go. And hurry, not a tick of the clock to spare. find source so dangerous. What in his death caused him? So the void woken are attracted to source. But why? When another divine arises, will source change back? What if there are no source? Why hasn't Alexander risen yet?
sind Alexander. Another divine arises. Will source change back? What if there are no sources? Yet so quickly we find source so dangerous. What in his death caused it? So the void woken not attracted to source. But why? When another divine arises, will source change back? What if there are no sources? Alexander
Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Keep that monster fat mess. Alexander. But wait, he's too well protected here. I am a proud lawyer to you. I would not dream of subverting our cause. The soldier stares straight ahead, knees locked. Perspiration beads upon her upper lip. Need I repeat myself? The guard's eyebrows furrow, and he makes a small motion with his head, suggesting you get out of the way. Now. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your god has asked to stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our god woken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Bishop Alexander idly glances in your direction, curiosity on his face. Recognition seems to flicker in his eyes for a moment, but then he shakes his head and looks back towards Dallas. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. As you approach the unsmiling Magister, Ifan catches your arm and speaks to you with some urgency. I need to talk to this one for a few moments. Alone. Ifan strides up to the Magister, speaking in a calm and controlled voice. Though you can't hear what he whispers, the Magister's face turns whiter than snow as he hands a note to Ifan with shaking hands. D -d -d I'll give you the information. Here, just, just, just don't. All right. Ifan walks back to you, leaving the quivering wreck of a magister behind. When he catches your eye, he winks.
Nifan catches you looking over at him. He raises his eyebrows. What? He barks a laugh, then shakes his head sheepishly. I wanted some information. That Magister wanted to negotiate. I negotiated. Ifan grunts and adjusts his pack. Well, let's get back to it then. Oh, hey! Hey! I thought you might be Emmy. It's... It's nice to see you. I think I love you. Horse? Hound? Did she... Did she seem happy? <laughs> At least there's that. The dog wags his tail, hopefully. So for time, you see. Just like me, man.
there. What do you need? The frog 
Hopes are gone. The children shall be safer. I see the good in you. I see all of you. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts, and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm? The ground? I don't know what you... I'm just trying to work it out. What happened? Why? Hmm? Goods? Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Have a look. Oh, ten bottles are made of... A thousand bottles of dust... Fifty bottles of tears, oh, make the hinges rust. Rust. 
Oh, ten bottles of mead, oh. A thousand bottles of dust. Fifty bottles of tears, oh. Make the hinges rust. my friend. I'm wondering why. All of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? No doubt the two are related. Perhaps if we can reverse the cause of our misfortunes, we can stop this madness before it goes any further.